These large language models are magic, but this magic comes at a cost. We know that large language models need huge memory and huge GPU VRAM. But this can be taken care of with the help of LLM sharding. These models have grown increasingly large, offering remarkable improvements in performance and understanding. However, the scalability and resource requirements for deploying and operating these models have become a significant challenge. As the size and complexity of these LLMs continue to expand, the demand for computational resources and memory has escalated, making it difficult for individuals and organizations without access to state-of-the-art computing infrastructure to leverage these powerful tools. One innovative approach to mitigating these challenges is model sharding. Sharding is a technique traditionally used in databases to distribute data across multiple servers to improve manageability, performance, and reliability. When applied to LLMs, sharding involves dividing a large model into smaller, more manageable places or shards. This division allows the model to be loaded and operated in a distributed manner across several machines or in a single machine on lesser RAM. This not only reduces the memory footprint required to run the model, but also enables parallel processing, which can significantly speed up computational times and make LLMs more accessible to a broader audience. The implementation of model sharding holds the promise of democratizing access to cutting-edge AI technologies. By reducing the hardware requirements and improve, improving the efficiency of LLMs, sharding enables more researchers, developers, and businesses to experiment with and deploy these advanced models. Furthermore, it opens up new possibilities for real-time applications and services that were previously impractical due to the prohibitive computational costs of running large models. As the AI community continues to explore and refine techniques like sharding, the potential for innovation and advancement in NLP and beyond is boundless. As you can see on your screen, this is one technique by Hugging Face, where they really encourage sharding for the people who don't have much memory. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do sharding locally by using simple lines of codes from Hugging Face and also use a free token from Hugging Face. The model which I'm going to use for to shard is this Mistral 7 billion gen pre-trained generative text model. And it is quite a fine model, but still it takes a bit of a resource to run locally. So we will be sharding it so that you could see that it will be easier to run if you even have less memory. If you don't know what Mistral is, I have done various videos on this fabulous Mistral model from the French company Mistral AI. Okay, so that's done. Now, let me log into my Ubuntu system and then we will start running this sharding uh, code example. So this is my Ubuntu system, which is running 22.04. If you are running it first time, first, then make sure that you install pip install transformers and accelerate libraries as they will be used and also PyTorch. I already have them installed, so I'm not going to install them again. Now, let me log into my Python interpreter after clearing my screen, and then we will go from there. Now, first thing we need to do is to import the PyTorch. By simply, simply doing import torch. And then let's import some of the transformers modules. And then we are going to import the accelerate. That's done. Let's specify our model name now. Let's specify the tokenizer, which is used with every model to convert the text into tokens. There you go. Token is being loaded. That is good. And now let's load our Mistral model. Press enter here. And it is going to download our model. And as you can see right now, just because this model is hosted it has two shards the first shard is around 10 gig let's see how big the other shard is let's wait for it to get downloaded fully and it of course will depend upon your download speed mine doesn't look too good but let's see the eta is around six to seven minutes 
the first shard is almost done let's wait for the second shard to start downloading so make sure that you have this much space on your local system if you are doing it locally so there you go so the second chart is smaller it is around 4.54 gig and the ETA is around 2.29 seconds at the moment so let's wait for it to finish the second chart is almost done while that happens we have imported the accelerate library let me give you a quick overview of this one because this is uh, quite pivotal in this whole process this library in python the accelerate is a tool developed by hugging face designed to simplify and accelerate the process of training and deploying machine learning models like bird gpt and others it abstracts away many of the complexities involved in writing efficient scalable code for running on different hardware configuration like cpus gpus and even tpus without you requiring to be an expert in parallel processing or distributed computing so uh, it is also used in sharding the model which we will we will be doing now so let's instantiate this accelerate here you just need to instantiate it from the library which we have just uh, downloaded that's done and now let's uh, let's save the model for that let's declare a variable which will be something like my uh, local i would say library or directory path so my local path is i just created a empty directory here home ubuntu, home ubuntu my models and this should be good save it and now let's use accelerate to save our model here and we are giving it max shard 200 fb press enter now let's wait for it to finish now the key thing to note here is this max shard size which is 200 mb this by setting this parameter to 200 mb you are instructing the accelerate library to shard or split the model into multiple smaller files each with a maximum size of 200 megabytes this can be particularly useful for managing large models with file size limitations and as i mentioned earlier sharding is very helpful when dealing with very large models that might not fit into a single file due to file system limitation or when you want to optimize the storage and um, transfer or memory footprint of large models by breaking them down into more manageable pieces and by specifying this max shard size we are controlling the granularity of these shards balancing between the number of files created and the size of each file so with 200 mp you can see that it, this could be this could take a bit of a time locally but not that much time because it is already done as you can see here let's now say we are want to run it on cpu so we'll just say device map cpu that is done and now let's load our model which we have just done and i'm just going to load the checkpoint and dispatch in the local directory okay uh -huh. so i need to just uh, load the checkpoint one let me find where exactly i have saved it so i have just specifies uh, specified my variable save directory which i forgot to mention in the previous step so all good now let's specify model is downloaded from your memory and let me specify my the name of my new model maybe i'll just say it my mistral you can name it anything doesn't matter and then in the next variable let's specify our hugging face token i'm just going to get the hugging face token from hugging face website let me also show you how you can do that quickly so go to hugging face and if you don't have already account just sign up with your email account with for your free account once you've done that go to your profile by clicking on top right on your photo and then on the left click on access token from here you can create a new token so i'll just say that sharding token just name it anything you want i'll just say right because i want to save it on hugging face 2 so if i scroll down this is my sharding token i'm just going to copy it go back to my ubuntu system and then paste it here and specify it like this so we'll be using this token now 
to push to the hub the new model now let's specify the tokenizer dot push to hub and this is going to push it to hub like in my own repo on hugging face cool that's done beautiful and now tokenizer is pushed now let's push the model there you go the model is being pushed here how cool is that and then I will show you on my hugging face if it happens quickly while our new model is being uploaded let me show you locally in my models directory where that the save directory so I am inside my my models directory and if you do the ls dash ltr or maybe just simply uh, let me clear it LS, there you go so you see that with 200 mb it has created that many shards of your model like 100 of them so there are 100 shards so of course you need to balance it out you don't need that many shards so maybe if it's a um, seven you know the model size is around like seven gig maybe do, do one gig shard each or something like that which will be easier to manage you you don't need hundreds of shards because it will take long time to uh, you know manage and it just adds to clutter so you need to find out uh, the balance between the shards and uh, number of shards okay let's go back to our other one to see it is, it will take a bit of a time because there are so many shards there at the moment so i will let it run so let me take you to my hugging face okay so it is wow so you can see that it is going to uh, upload all of the stuff there from my local model so i will let it run while it happens let me take you to the hugging face and from there uh, i will show you where the mo new model is so for example if i go here i click on my profile there you, go. you see that it just got updated three minutes ago and this is the one which i did last time so my mistral was the name which i gave it to it i haven't again given it much of uh, the stuff here but I can give all the model card information and then it is going to put it here just like it does with any other file and th th these are the files which get uploaded how cool is that so that's it guys I hope that you enjoyed it um, if you have any questions or thoughts let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to help out if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please do me a personal favor and share the video and the channel among your network on social media as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.